The United Nations Security Council meeting to discuss the Israel-Palestinian conflict is being held today. The UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, has called for an immediate cessation of hostilities, saying that too many innocent civilians have already died and the conflict can only increase radicalization and extremism in the region. Well, we can talk now to, in Jerusalem to the uh, Bishop of Southwark, the Right Reverend Christopher Chesson. Uh, thank you very much indeed for being with us. And, and your diocese, uh, Southwark, has uh, strong links with Jerusalem. It does indeed. And I have been here for the installation of the new Anglican Archbishop in Jerusalem, which took place on Thursday, which in the Christian calendar was a sanctuary day. Very joyous service. But we are in this part of Jerusalem, in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. So I have heard the sound of stun grenades at night, debris on the streets during the day. And we're just a short distance from the Damascus Gate, that particular entry into the old city of Jerusalem. And the world has been watching with horror for the last few days at the latest flare-up of violence between uh, Israel and Palestinians in, in Gaza, uh, in particular, uh, so many deaths, so many injuries. Do you have any hope that there can be some sort of peace agreement soon? Well, I agree with all the calls for an immediate cessation of hostilities. De-escalation will need to accompany that and will take time. And there is then behind all the violence at the moment, the underlying issues. So it's a far more multi-layered and complex situation than simply about what is happening on the ground now. Uh, indeed, and, th and these conflicts, especially in Gaza, seem to be pretty cyclical, um, flaring up every few years. Uh, in the absence of a, of a long-term peace process, which seems to have pretty much ground to a halt in the Middle East. I have been part of an annual delegation that has tried to visit Gaza every year. The Christian community in a population of two million in Gaza is now under a thousand. The tension is enormous because of the locked in nature of Gaza, which locks in economic disadvantage, massive unemployment and real deep seated resentments. It is not just simply a question about the behavior of Hamas. It is about the underlying issues of creating a long lasting peace with justice. Do you feel a sense of despair when you are there in Israel and you see yet again just more violence, more killing, more death? People of faith are always agents of hope and I have been here as part of that demonstration of abiding hope which is there in all the faiths that claim Jerusalem for themselves and have a part to play in its future destiny. So I do not feel despair. I feel extreme sadness, disappointment, frustration that underlying issues are yet to be properly addressed. And I was interested that the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights in his commenting was saying that one of the issues is that the rule of law has to be applied fairly. It is applied at the moment in an undeniably discriminatory fashion, but that is a contributory cause. And um, Israel, of course, wants security, but simply trying to go for permanent containment is not enough. It has to be more than that. It has to be built on looking at the issues on the rights of people, of all people, in these lands and are working forward, building up partnerships of goodwill with people of goodwill who will feed into civil society. All right, well, so good to talk to you. Thank you very much for your time and joining us from Jerusalem, the Right Reverend Christopher Chesson, their Bishop of Southwark. Thank you, Ben.